Hi, I'm Tracy Scott Townsend, Commissioning Editor for Wild Press Books. We're very proud to be publishing All Bright Beginnings by Wolfie O'Hare. This is our last pamphlet of the year and it's really going to bring a sense of warmth and positivity to anyone that reads it. The poems are meditative, full of a sense of place and just the spirit of humanity really. I know Wolfie is going to play some amazing music and read some of the poems. So sit back and enjoy this launch of All Bright Beginnings. Thank you very much. All bright beginnings should be solemn. All awakenings need a swift and proper pause. The folded piece of first light brings soft morning to the restless mind. A sky all scattered, silent ash bleaches newness into common day. All bright beginnings should be solemn. All awakenings need a swift and proper pause. When I recall the images in, Wal in Wolfe's poems, uh, it, uh, it's like a reel of uh, Super 8. Um, grainy, flickering, elemental forces, old acquaintances, longing, belonging, experiences that can't be forgotten, uh, loves that could never be lost, loves, loves found, love of the sea and still water, train journeys, familiar and imagined places and time paused. Sometimes leaving a room is difficult. Closing doors becomes an act of grief. Restrained, sharp, but still perceptible. Straggling the borderlands of disbelief. Leaving marks our shifting seconds. Fragments that must evolve at last. For all the imperfect loveliness of living must fold itself into the past. Endurance. It's good to live on the edge of things, to find another stranger elsewhere, some new perimeter of the running mind that was always home and always here. Certainty catches us at work sometimes, or in the shops or at the still cemetery wall. We scan each stale ambit that prohibits us from reaching out and being limitless. Now, if I could move ever upwards into air, shouting, singing with each moment close, and finding new desire in endless skies, I'd do it and leave the ground soaring.
Absence calls to rain on afternoon glass. A lover's shape in a recent tumbled bed still smiles as scent and sunlight fade. This is the time of closing eyes, the calling of all our running hours to mind, a bringing of the past and a binding of the day. The sky holds its endless burning blue, as shutting doors contain the moments held within. When I'm not scribbling, I'm fiddling, and usually with Fiddler's Elbow, the band that I'm in. There's Gus Wilson, who plays the guitar, the bazooki, and the bass. Phil Proctor, who also plays the guitar, and Sam Martin, that plays the whistle, or the harmonium, and she sings. And there's me, and I play everything else that nobody else wants to. And there's a clip coming up. Oh, yes, there is of us all playing together. It's a rant. It's called a rant. Yes, it's a dance. Actually, I don't know how I know any of these terrible people. North Hall Trees We went exploring through the trees, through the cold, quiet winter wood, where the somnolent spring sleeps in deep silence underfoot. There are fires beneath the earth that burn beyond our swift appearances and ancient gods of rock and iron that sleep and dream in spite of us. <laughs> 